All right, here we go. Question number three in our college algebra homework number five in my lab math. And it wants us to determine the horizontal asymptote of the graph of the function. And here's our function. We've got it written down up here in the window so we can work on it. Uh, let's talk about how do you determine horizontal asymptotes. A horizontal asymptote. All right, so to, to determine a horizontal asymptote, you have to compare the uh, degree of the numerator, I'm going to call that the top, the degree of the numerator, which is the degree of the top, with the degree of the denominator, and I'm going to call that the bottom. So you have to compare the degree of the top with the degree of the bottom. Now the degree is the biggest exponent on any variable. Uh, so we can see the degree of the top is 4, and the degree of the bottom is 4, and those are equal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all three scenarios so that if yours is different, you'll know how to solve this problem. Okay, so scenario number one, if the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom, that means that your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equal to 0. Okay? I mean, there's nothing to figure out. If the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom, it's just going to be y equals 0. That's your horizontal asymptote. Scenario number 2. If the degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom, then your horizontal asymptote, well, doesn't exist. There is none there will be no horizontal asymptote if the degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom. And scenario number three, which is our scenario, if the degree of the top equals the degree of the bottom, then we will have a horizontal asymptote. It's going to be y equals a over b. And you're going to need to know where do I find a and where do I find b? Well, if I make a list here, a is the lead coefficient of the top. And B is the lead coefficient of the bottom. So in our case, we said that the degree of the top is equal to the degree of the bottom. So our asymptote is going to be y equals a over b, where a is the lead coefficient of the top, and b is the lead coefficient of the bottom. And so our horizontal asymptote should be y equals 5 thirds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Desmos down here to check and see if that's right. So we're going to input our function. We have 5x to the 4th plus 2, and in the bottom we have 3x to the 4th minus 4. And that gives us a look at our function. And can you see, look at this function going back to the left here. Can you see that that's uh, coming down but it's starting to flatten off and it looks like that there's some imagine there's some value here that it's getting close to on both sides and so what I predict I predict if I put in y equals five-thirds that that's gonna fit nicely right in here okay y equals five-thirds BAM look at that if I zoom in can you see that that the graph is approaching but never touching, although it looks like it touches, it's just getting so close that you can't really tell the difference. So this looks like our horizontal asymptote. Let's see if my lab math agrees. And notice it already has the y equal, so I just have to put the 5 thirds. Damn, there you go. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you need to go back and review this, here, remember here is the three scenarios up here for what your horizontal asymptote could be 
based on the relationship of the degree of the top and the degree of the bottom. Uh, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.